Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is the help you need with another 3ds Max video tutorial. And in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to make a flag waving in the wind. That's what our video is going to basically be, although we're not going to have those pretty textures. Um, anyway, so let's go ahead and uh, make this. Now, all in all, it'll only take you about 40 seconds after watching this video. Um, but because I want to explain it, it might take like three to four, maybe five minutes. So let's go ahead and see. Uh, the first thing you need is a cylinder. So let's go ahead and grab a cylinder. We're going to make this a flagpole. So go ahead and label it flagpole so we know what's up. Oops, flag. Flag pole. All right. So now you got a flagpole as a cylinder. And now I need a plane. All right, so let's go ahead and make a plane drag it out that far and we want it to be more towards the middle although this is just for appearances purposes so <coughs> not that much you have to really do with that so now you have a nice looking flag alright we'll go ahead and rename this waving flag Okay, that's just to keep everything in order so that way we know exactly what everything is and all that good stuff <coughs> alright um, now what we're going to do is we're going to add a cloth modifier to the flag. So let's go ahead and add a cloth. Alright, go into object properties, go ahead and select your waving flag, select cloth, and click OK. You need to make sure that it's not inactive, because if it is inactive, so we'll go ahead and click cloth, make it inactive, meaning it's not going to do anything. When you simulate local, nothing's going to happen. So. We're going to go ahead and make a cloth. we go ahead and simulate it. And notice that just falls. Alright, um, also simulate local. All it does is it just simulates it in your viewport so that way you don't have to finish the actual uh, uh, keyframes and stuff. Alright, uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to go into group and we need to select um, these vertices or vertexes that are on uh, the flagpole, like the actual like inside of them. And we need to make them a group. Go ahead and group as, um, I don't know, edge of flag, I don't care. Alright. Um, so basically, the reason you selected these is so that way, um, when they're grouped up together, uh, when you go ahead and make the node, all right, and you click your cylinder, your flagpole, uh, that it'll note that those vertices need to stay exactly where they are and attached to the flagpole. So when I go ahead and click that, you'll notice that down in this little box here, I go ahead and bring it out some, you'll notice that it says edge of flag, node to flagpole. So it's going to know that these verts need to be attached to the flagpole. Alright, and basically the reason you need that is because <coughs> without it, I'll go ahead and detach. Um, without that little thing, when you simulate local, it's just going to fall through. Whereas when you have it all grouped, so let's go ahead and select this group, add a node. Where you have it all grouped and you have everything selected the way you need to, if you click simulate local, you'll know that it needs to attach there and this will just fall through like that. So it's a lot better than uh, the other, other way. Alright, uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to create wind. So we're going to come into the space warps thing, make sure you're on forces, and click wind. Now we want it to blow in the wind um, the opposite dire or the same direction that the flag is. So in this case, the right. So the way we're going to do this is just by moving it like that. Let's go ahead and move up the wind a little bit and like this. Now, if you just have it like this and you don't edit the wind at all, it's just going to fall down like the way you just saw it earlier. So what we want to do is we want to bring up the strength of the wind, bring it up to 3, bring up some turbulence, uh, to 5, frequency to 2, maybe ooh, 3, no, I just want to add 2, and scale Alright, so now we go ahead and select the waving flag and we click simulate local. 
you'll notice that the wind will push it up and down and everything. So, or actually it won't, I lied, um, because you notice that just falls. Alright, so what you need to do is click cloth forces, click wind zero one, click OK, and now, when you do it, you'll notice that the flag starts to wave. And now in this case, it's like waving crazy, and it's actually a really pretty good wave. So um, basically, that's uh, that's the tutorial. Um, now, in order to save the animations, so that way it starts out like this, is click simulate, and it automatically simulates at the end of your keyframes here. So you got to simulate. As you can see, it simulates all the way through. It's actually a really pretty good flag animation here, so you guys will see it. Okay. And now you got yourself a waving flag. That's all I gotta do with keyframes and everything. And, um, in order to slow it down, you could also use dampened. But that's not what we want, so. Alright. Um, Thanks a lot for watching this video. I got, hope you guys learned a little bit of something here on uh, how to use your cloth and your forces. Um, and yeah, uh, hopefully another tutorial be out next week, um, maybe a little bit earlier. Uh, I know for sure that uh, I should have some blunder videos up because actually a lot of people have been requesting them. So hopefully I'll have some of those up later. And um, yeah. Hope to see you guys in my next videos. Thanks a lot.